Hey YouTube, I touch answers here, and today I just want to kind of talk to you about what SHSH blobs are, what they do, how they work, and stuff, and basically, ultimately, what it allows you to do is downgrade your firmware. And I just want to um, let you know because the 4.0 firmware is coming out soon. I think in like two days, June 21st, and um, I don't know. They're probably not gonna have a jailbreak, like right away but I still want to update and see what it's like see all the new features and then I might want to downgrade back to the 3.1.3 .3 firmware and jailbreak so I can still keep jailbreaking I mean if you're watching this way in the future about it probably not on the same firmware but just as of right now while I'm uploading this video that's what's going on now the ability to SHSH blob save is only for the iPod touch third gen and the iPhone 3GS and probably the iPhone 4 when it comes out I mean I don't know but like with the 2G iPod Touch and stuff, you just have to hold the shift key and then press restore and you can choose which firmware you want to restore back to. Now onto what SHSH blobs are. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but basically it's a code. With the new um, um, iPod and iPhone and iTunes, the way how um, the restore process and update process with the firmware works is basically um, per per device per firmware it has its own code so no device is the exact same with any firmware it's all unique to your device and firmware and it doesn't say the same with firmware on your iPod or iPhone it changes per firmware so basically what it does is it talks to Apple when you hit the restore update button sends over um, its code and Apple verifies that it's a true code sends back the response that it's okay to update or restore and then um, you're good to go, it'll do whatever. The reason why you can't downgrade is because once Apple moves on to a new firmware, it basically shuts that um, shuts that firmware's code off for your iPod. So whenever you send to downgrade, sends um, the special code per for that firmware, Apple sees that it's shut down and it denies the request. So what SHSH blobs are, which you can turn on in Cydia, where it saves a Cydia server, is a saved copy of iTunes, of Apple saying yes to that upgrade or restore for that firmware. So basically how you make it work is you can change I think you go to like um, your hard drive and like program something like program files or something like that or Windows files and you can change a setting you go into some folders and you change a setting that works with iTunes to where um, it communicates with Cydia servers instead of the iTunes servers so it sends over if it's okay to um, downgrade to that firmware and then Cydia says yes because it has saved on file what that yes code is sends it back and it'll work now you can only downgrade to SHSH I mean to firmwares that you have this saved SHSH blob on so if you started on the 3.1.3 it was the first time you saved it no way you can downgrade to 3.1.2 it just won't work Another thing I forgot to mention is whenever you're going to downgrade, you don't just um, hit the shift and then click restore button where you can pick your own firmware to downgrade. You have to put your device all the way in DFU mode, not recovery mode. There's a complete difference between the two. DFU mode is the only way to activate um, this to work. And you can download all the firmwares. I'll put a link in the description even though this video doesn't really tell you how to do it, but just for future reference and stuff like that, or if you're on an iPod Touch. 2G or whatever, then you can download your firmware that you want to try. But, um, yeah, you just download your firmware, put it in DFU mode, hit the shift restore, make it communicate with Cydia, gets the yes, go ahead and, da go ahead and it downgrades, and then um, works just like that. Now, the only thing I'm unsure of is how to make it start communicating with Apple again. I don't know if Cydia, if you can, like, up update through Cydia too, or if you need to um, change it back to where it communicates with Apple. I'll try to look into this. If anybody knows the answer to that question, go ahead and leave it in the comments because I'm sure we'd all like to know. But um, I don't, I don't exactly know how to do it 100% right now. I've never actually done it because I didn't start um, saving my SHSH blobs till this 3.1.3 .3 firmware. But whenever the 4.0 firmware comes out in like two days, I'm gonna update to it and then I'm gonna wanna downgrade back to 3.1.3 .3 to jailbreak. So I'll show you how to do that whole process after I test it out. Alright guys, that was a main overview of basically what SHSH blobs are, what they do, and how to use them. Be sure to leave a comment if there's any more information, something I left out, or something like that. And with any questions, 
I'm kind of new to this whole thing too. I've never actually done it, but I'll try to answer your question as best as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, be sure to like this video if it helped you out. Uh, subscribe for more things relating to jailbreak, all anything with iPod Touch and iPhone, and to know when the video on actually how to do this comes out. Should be here shortly. Okay, guys. See you in the next video.